Welcome back. Now, more people watched it than the world heavyweight title fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko. More people watched it than Wimbledon or the FA Cup final. I'm talking about that boxing showdown seen by around 25 million people so far. We're going to talk to one of them, KSI, one of the biggest YouTubers on this planet. He has 17 million subscribers. Gazette Review estimates his net worth at $11 million. Uh, he's with me, but first, let's see him in the ring. Joe looks like a bull Joe ready to go is in. walking straight ahead. Both these guys looking for a big punches early on. KSI JJ just landing. landing the jab early. JJ landing the jab early. Right hook by JJ. Another jab by JJ. Joe not answering. Joe, Joe hasn't thrown a punch yet. Joe needs to start throwing. Joe needs to throw. Joe needs to throw a punch. And he does. And he does throw. And he lands. This is Joe City. Oh, there he goes from the ring to here. Welcome here to the programme. I mean, 25 million, that is insane. Did you know it was going to get that big? No, 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 no. I thought, uh, I thought like a couple of million people would see it, but not, not 25 million, no. <laughs> they said it was a, a, a grudge match, sort of settling a score. Was that really the case or it was, or was it a stunt? No, it was. It was very real. Um, obviously, after the press conference, uh, we had a a huge amount of beef between us and we, I guess, had four months to settle it in the training. And, uh, and had you boxed before? No, never, never boxed in my life. Literally, like four months of just learning to box, training, being fit and all of that. I didn't, yeah, it was completely new to me. New to you, but you came out on top in the yeah. end, <laughs> which is the important thing. Of course. Bragging rights. Yes. Tell me more then, look, let, rewind for us. How okay. did a 16-year-old or 15-year-old sitting in his bedroom mm -hmm. create all of this when we're talking about, what, 25 million people looking? Well, it's crazy. Like, obviously, I started out gaming, playing FIFA, and uh, in my room just, I guess, just constantly playing games, and then eventually I showed my face, and then I showed um, other stuff that I could do. I worked on music. Uh, did a bit of acting here and there, made a book. Uh, <laughs> literally, the list goes on. And well, now, more about that list because it, yeah. it was fascinating last night. I told yeah. my two boys that you were coming on. Okay. They absolutely spiraled. Oh, really? They told my father, who said, What do you actually do? Oh, so just for those people, for those people, and that's the generation of yeah, yeah, so yeah. those people that don't know, just describe what you actually did on YouTube. Uh, so, like, as a YouTuber, I do everything so I do uh, gaming pranks uh, skits music acting <laughs> boxing <laughs> literally you name it I probably do it or I've done it <laughs> uh, and you, you put those videos up uh, and that's the music that you've gone on to do uh, in land you've been talking about films as well but you yeah. also mentioned pranks and I'm going to put up on the screen uh, just one of the pranks for our viewers to see because uh, that's how you really made your name and that's how mm. your subscribers just ratcheted up. Let me just put uh, one of them up on the screen for the viewers. Chubby Bunny. Good. That's my darling. So you're laughing even. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, yes. You've got the rest of the family. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. That's just stuffing marshmallows in your face. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about challenge. Yeah. Trying to speak. Uh, you must have great fun. Are your brother involved? Your brother yeah, yeah. Involved. Does your mother tell you off for, for swearing so much? <laughs> <laughs> she does, actually. She hates it. So whenever I'm like, with her, I never swear. But uh, <laughs> I, try to, I try to calm it down. I was watching one of those videos last night. Mm. And, and in it, you were saying how grateful you are for mm. your 50 subscribers i'll repeat that oh, oh yeah in yeah, that yeah. video you now have 17 yeah. years. i mean how did it grow so quickly um i think word of mouth helped a lot um i know a lot of people especially in schools used to like love my videos and they would share around a lot and then uh the older i got the older they got and like i guess i grew with my audience and now they st they still are invested because of the things I do now, like boxing, everyone wanted to get involved with that, so. And of course, you're incredibly wealthy. I, I mentioned the figures in, in <laughs> yeah. the introduction, you can laugh. <laughs> um, did you have to uh, think about how you monetize it or, or did it just fall in your lap? Uh, I didn't think about money at all. Like when I started, I just, I thought it was the most fun I've ever had in my life, just playing games. And but the money's incredible, isn't it? I was reading that it's roughly works out $2,000 per million hits. And then, I mean, some of the videos that you have, I mean, yeah. they're getting multi-million hits. You can, you yeah. can do the maths really quickly <laughs> and work out why it is so profitable. Yeah. But how open are you about things like 
sponsorship that comes with it, brands that come with it, that sort of transparency. So I was, um, at the beginning, I was, uh, I was just like, oh, I'll just pick anything, whereas nowadays I'm a lot more um, selective with what I do. So I don't just select anything. I have to pick something that works with me or for me, so. Is it difficult to sort of try to stay connected to people and, and then have all that wealth in the background and have all these people sort of who've latched on to you? Um, I mean, I feel like my audience have seen me. I've been doing YouTube for like 10 years, so they've seen me from the beginning. To but I've seen you get angry in, in clips when people <laughs> say it's all about the money. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, it's eventually that's, that's always, you know, everyone gets angry. I'm human. Like, people always forget that I am a human being and, like, there's certain things that can anger me. And what about responsibility? Because, I mean, you've got such a young audience. Yeah. And you've got so many followers, and, and so many people are, mm. are now doing a similar sort of thing. What, what, how does it work for you in terms of how responsible you feel for the stuff that you actually put out? Well, I say, I always say I'm not the best role model, but like I have values that I feel like people can aspire to. So hard work, determination, never giving up. That's always like, I've even got like KSI written on my chest. What does that stand for, by the way? So that means knowledge, strength, and integrity. So I like those are things that I aspire to and obviously like as a human being I'm going to make mistakes and you know like I just learn to correct them and then move on from that. It's interesting you talk about mistakes because we were on the programme only a few weeks ago we were looking mm. at uh, Logan Paul that made headlines around the world <laughs> when he was yeah. taken off uh, YouTube because of uh, you know that stuff that he posted mm. uh, around suicides that got uh, so much uh, there was so much controversy that mm. surrounded it. I mean, it didn't that sort of underline, and you must have this as well, yeah. there's no one really overseeing what you do, is there? There's no one checking it? Uh, no, there's definitely people checking it. There's definitely people watching what I, I have, like, millions of people watching me <laughs> almost every day. So obviously there's But it's people. yourself. It's, it's sort of internal checks, isn't it? It's not um, outside. No, no, it's, it's definitely, you definitely get external checks as well. It's just that, I, for me, I know I need to just watch what I do, and I make sure I do that. Have you got into pickles in the past and difficulties and had to delete stuff? Of course, of course. I've had um, controversy as well. And I've been, you know, done a few things here and there. But it's like where you, how you learn from that, how you get up from uh, failure and or just messing up. So I mentioned Logan Paul in, you know, relation to uh, all those uh, negative headlines. At the mm. end of your boxing match, yes. you challenged him <laughs> to a boxing yes, match. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, what is that? What's going on there? Is that your brain thinking... Of the next business opportunity, uh, has he responded? I feel like it's. I'm kind of just doing the world a favor in wanting to punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. And has he responded? Is he taken up? Uh, so I, I, I don't know. It's still like here and there, but uh, I'm still waiting for a proper, proper reply. So we'll, well wait and see. We shall see. This mm -hmm. potentially is another chapter to all of it. Okay, so we've simply run out of time. Thank no, you so much that. for no, your time for joining us on the program. I'm back with all the headlines here in a moment. Don't go away.